So securing your retirement with coding. Yes, coding can, in a very short period of time, turn around your retirement situation, your financial situation, very, very quickly. I fortunately discovered this back in the 90s when I started to code, and I realized it was a super valuable skill set that allowed me amazing flexibility in terms of when I worked, with whom I worked, and what type of projects I worked on. You have to understand the coding world is extremely vast in that there's many different specializations. You can do visual coding, you can do back-end architectural coding, you can get deep into data manipulation. It's very, very, very flexible. I could go on for half an hour about what you could do. So that's cool because that appeals to many different personality, personality types. So let's say you are somebody who's 40, 50, or even 60s and older, and you have a background in X. I don't know, maybe you were a bookkeeper, maybe you were a nurse, who knows, whatever. Maybe you were doing sales. You can leverage your experience, combine that with coding knowledge that aligns with that so that you can set up a whole new career. It could be working for somebody, it could be freelancing, who knows. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you have a background in sales. You did a lot of sales for years. So you understand the sales process. Maybe you sold cars. Maybe you sold trips. I don't know. So that would suggest to me that you can develop a freelance business as a web uh, site developer, marketer, maybe provide turnkey solutions for small business, combining your sales skills and experience learning how to build websites, learning all the different tools that are out there to build websites, whether you write hand code, you use uh, products like WordPress or Drupal, or whether you just, for clients who don't have big budgets, maybe you're gonna jump into a product like a Wix or uh, Squarespace or other builders. This is where social media marketing comes into play. This is where having fundamental skills and sales and marketing can be leveraged with that coding skill to develop this whole new business. So why did I say that coding can be a way to secure your uh, financial freedom, your retirement in a short period of time? Well, typically, when you become a coder developer, you can increase your salary typically by at least 50%. I've seen people double their salary or triple their salary within the first two to three years. Very doable. So I've done this math in another video I did that went viral. It was uh, broke at 50 to should you learn to code, something to that effect. I'll put a link here. Anyhow, what I described in this video is something I discovered way back in the day when I was a young whippersnapper. So I realized that, wow, I'm making all this extra money as a coder. So what they typically tell you should save maybe 10, some people say 15% of your salary towards retirement in 25 years, you retire very comfortably if you invest it. I said to myself, you know, I'm making all this extra money. Instead of buying a brand new car and getting a nice Porsche or uh, getting a big house, I said, you know, I'm gonna live frugal for a few more years and I'm gonna save all that extra money and speed up the process, right? So let's say the average person, we'll just say for the sake of argument, even numbers, they're making $50,000 a year and they're told to save 50%, uh, excuse me, they're supposed told to save 10% a year, sometimes sometimes 15, but we'll say 10 for, again, even numbers. So every year you're saving 5,000 bucks of your 50,000. Okay, that's cool. So I say, well, let's say you get into coding, but boom, but after a couple of years you're making 80 grand, you're making 100 grand. It's very common for developers in North America to make 100,000 or more. And again, when you're looking at these numbers, by the way, the salary you're making, you have to always consider cost of living. You know, if you're making 100000 in, uh, I don't know, in the center of the U.S., it's a lot different than making 100000 in San Francisco, right? Right. The cost of living in San Francisco is much higher. You know, developers in San Francisco will be making three hundred grand. Anyway, long story. So we'll go back to the example. So you're making $50,000 a year, and then you transition into software development, coding, web development, whatever it is, whatever specialization you decide to get into. And within a couple of years, you've doubled your salary. Very, very common, by the way. So what do you do with that extra money? What do you do with that extra chunk of cash? Well, you do the smart thing. Instead of saving 10% of your salary a year, let's up it, let's up it. Let's save 20%, 30%. Right? So let's say you get up to 30%. And so for every year, 
that you're saving 30%. The average person, if they're lucky, or if they're smart at least, they're saving 10%. So one of your years is equal to the average person's three years. So in three years, you've saved nine years worth of income, whereas the average person is, you know, is only saved three years. You get the idea? See the math? This multiplies quite quickly, right? So just this is just saving 30%. So let's say after five years, right, uh, you save basically 15 years worth of salary versus the typical person. So just in five years, you've already got, got 15 years worth versus the other person. Now, the math's a little rough because you're investing over time, your, your, your money accrues in value, et cetera, et cetera. But you get, you get the idea. Now, so what I did back in my late 20s and into my early 30s, I said, wow, I'm making all this extra money. I might as well just save it. So I started saving, saving, and saving, and saving. I was, and, and then like, I was saving some years 80% of my salary. So think about, that. think about that. In one year, I was doing what the average person takes eight years to do. So you see how when you start making an extra income, and if you're smart about it, you don't go crazy. You don't up your, uh, your lifestyle so much. You just save like a mad person. Then you're going to find yourself in a very good position very quickly. That is the power of coding, because there's no other profession that I'm aware of where you can earn so much money so quickly without needing a degree, without having to go four years in school, without having to spend 20 years on a twenty thousand dollars on a on a boot camp necessarily. You can do it. You can do it. So, if you're somebody who's older, you're worried about retirement, and you should be, because you may be young and healthy now, but as you get older, uh, you know, typically you got health problems. You're not don't have as much energy. Which brings me to another tangent here, by the way. Uh, I value health more than anything else. I'd rather be uh, poor and healthy than rich and sick. I'd rather be poor and healthy than rich and sick. That is 100,000% the case. Uh, now, of course, if you can be uh, healthy and rich, that's even better. But you get the idea. So take care of your health. Invest in your health as you would yourself. So. The most valuable thing you can invest in initially, especially if you're watching this when you're younger, is valuable skill sets. I have some friends of mine who come from good families, middle class families, but they never developed valuable skill sets. So they hit their 20s and then their 30s and their 40s and 50s, and they found themselves in their late 40s. I remember having this conversation with them. They found themselves in the late 40s and they had the skill sets of an 18 year old because they partied for too long. That's a problem. The biggest earnings people typically have is in their 50s, meaning once you hit your 50s, that's 50 to 65 apparently, for the average person, that's when they earn the most money. That's, that's when you've reached peak value. Now you can speed up that process and get there more quickly in terms of reaching peak value. That's for a lot of people. So if you're you know, in your late 40s and your 50s, and you're like, oh boy, I don't have any retirement. You have an opportunity to up your skills, which is the most important investment you have, and then take those skills and turn them into a very profitable uh, endeavor, meaning where you up your salaries quite a bit, as I described, and you take all that money and you invest it into solid index funds. Most people who make a lot of money are doing exactly what I described. They make good money with their jobs or their small business or their freelance business, and then they take that money and they buy index funds, index funds, index funds. Because you know what, for example, I'm not gonna invest in biochemical companies or uh, I'm not gonna invest in oil companies, I'm not gonna invest in uh, entertainment companies because I'm not an expert in any of these businesses. You know, it's silly. What I will invest in is index funds, which are, just look it up, I'm not gonna explain what they are now. Why? Because it takes all the guessing and all the study out of the, the equation. And if you look at the statistics, when it boils down to it, over a 10 year period, people who buy index funds will outperform the stock pickers by a long shot. So why, why trouble yourself? So anyway, that's my suggestion to you. Learn to code, because it's super valuable. You don't need any certifications. You don't need a degree. You can get up and running within a year, start the career. Within two to three years, you're hitting maximum stride. You're starting to really start earning some good money. You can freelance it. You can go work for small business. You can go work for large business. Although if you're older, no degree, uh, chance of you going, getting a job as a developer in big business is less unless you have a really strong background, some related field. Uh, so freelance is a huge opportunity. 
because uh, a lot of people are starting to look at building small business. What does small business need? They all need a web presence. They all need a web presence. And uh, well, there you go. All right, I hope this is useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I have a mentoring program, so you may want to check it out. Links below. Read my reviews. Don't take my word for it. Read my reviews. Bye-bye.